Eagle 7 here. Wanted to make this quick video on transitioning into forward flight. It's a fairly simple process. In the last video we talked about a stable 3 to 5 foot hover. That's where we're going to begin. Transitioning into forward flight is a fairly simple process. What, what we're looking for is again gentle pressures on the flight controls. We, we want to just ever so slowly start the aircraft moving forward any you know three to five ten ten feet and we want to stay low as we transition to about 40 knots and at 40 knots we'll go ahead and increase our collective and then we'll pitch for 70 knot attitude as we climb out the reason that we want to stay relatively low to the ground until we accelerate to 40 knots is because we want to ensure that we're outside of our height velocity curve we want to make sure that we're able to successfully auto rotate in the event of an engine failure the fl flight velocity curve has altitude versus airspeed and we want to have enough altitude and airspeed to, to make that auto rotation happen if we're too slow and too high we're not gonna be set up for successful auto rotation and then once we reach our pitch attitude of 70 knots and our cruise altitude of 500 feet, that's when I'll go ahead and trim the aircraft up. I don't do any trimming in the hover and any trimming in the initial departure or takeoff. I find it's a lot going on and it's best to wait till you get to your cruising altitude to do it. Everybody has their own way, but that's what I found works for me. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and increase the collective and get it light on the wheels. Anticipating with left anti-torque and a little left cyclic. So from here we're just going to put a little gentle pressure on the cyclic forward and you'll see the nose is going to come down a little bit. Right about there. Not too much. And we're letting our airspeed slowly start to build up. Out of the height velocity curve, increase collective, compensate with left anti-torque, and we want to pitch for around 70 knot attitude or airspeed. Coming up on our 70, so we want to kind of hold that attitude right there and we've got about a hundred to go. Now we want to anticipate our level off so let's start lowering collective, anticipate right anti-torque pedal and level the aircraft at approximately 500 feet. So from here we want to make sure that we're level and we'll go ahead and Engage the trim here. All right, so now the trim is engaged. So from here, I have my feet off the pedals and my left hands off the collective, and I just have to. I've found that I still have to make even when it's trimmed up. You can see the ball isn't trim. My feet are on the floor. My left hands off the collective, but I still need to make some pressure changes on the cyclic to maintain my altitude. But you can see we've transitioned from that stable hover into forward flight. We traveled through our height velocity curve, accelerating to 40 knots, increased collective, pitch for 70 knot attitude on our climb out, and about 100 feet before our cruising altitude, we lowered the collective, anticipated right anti-torque pedal and then we go, went ahead and kind of made everything nice and shiny at, at 500 feet and then I engaged my my trim so we can fly wherever we want now we're trimmed up I hope that helps and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section we'll see you in the next video